with Loki Season 2 recently officially adding a main supporting cast member who will be the villain of the second season, speculation was running rampant on who exactly Katie Dickey could be playing. And now we got some allegedly leaked details that reveal an interesting twist on Season 2. So let's talk about what exactly is going on with multiple Lokis. So as I said, we recently talked about the fact that Katie from Game of Thrones officially joined the upcoming Marvel Studios second season of Loki, and she would be appearing in the second episode and allegedly all the way towards the end and is getting top billing, and she would be the main villain of the piece. Now, outside of that, it was all speculation in regards to who she could be playing, and it's still very much an unknown uh, factor going forward, but multiple people out there have stated that she is in fact going to be playing a multiversal version of Sylvie, aka another version of the Enchantress, except the twist here being is that she is obviously much older and she is from a future timeline where things have gone completely different and horrific, allegedly. And she has gone back to this time to try to right the wrongs and try to fix the timeline so things in her timeline and her future don't go as horrific as they have. And allegedly, also, this is all rumors coming from a couple places that I'm just kind of putting her into one, she will be very important and have quite a big plot development that relates to the existing Sylvie, possibly teasing that she could literally be the aged version of the same character and not a misplaced multiversal one, but also that there's a lot more going on that we're not privy to, and that she is allegedly very closely tied in with Kang. Now, the Kang in question would be the one who is who he remains, the one we saw at the end of Loki Season 1, and not the one we're getting in the upcoming Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania or Kang Dynasty. So again, things are getting a little bit confusing with all these variants, but the main takeaway is here at least, according to everybody, and this was exactly what I speculated as well the moment she was cast, she's definitely playing a variant of Sylvie. Now beyond that, we know nothing else, and everything else is just kind of hearsay from insiders and reports, so make of it what you will. But it does kind of make sense that she's going to play Sylvie. I mean, the resemblance is already there. Like, you kind of just look at her, you go, yeah, that's a variant. Yeah, I see it. And even if they wanted to say she's like the exact same Sylvie, just aged up by like, I don't know, 20 years, I still see it. Like, it definitely works. And you do a little bit of makeup and stuff, you can make them resemble each other a lot more. So it's going to be interesting to see what exactly happens in Loki Season 2 and just how crazy and, uh, well, I guess multiversal crazy they get. 